Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, I got a Linux tip for you today. A neat little trick about getting better audio out of your radio than its built-in speaker if you happen to have a computer with really good amplified speakers, which I do. All right, so I have, well, the ICOM 705 sitting here. Now this trick should work with any radio that gives you a USB um, or other type of physical audio interface connection. In fact, it would probably even work with older radios using a signal link or other type of rig interface that brings the radio's audio in via an audio adapter to the computer. Um, the built-in speaker on the ICOM, obviously, it's small, tinny. I mean, what do you expect from a small speaker, right? Let's find something. Poor signals today on 20. Tell you what, we'll just go, and of course WWV is a little weak, let's uh, go check them out on 10 megahertz. Okay, so there's WWV on the built-in speaker on the ICOM. Sounds okay, I mean it's, you know, it's loud enough, intelligible. But if you're shortwave listening, and, or you know, even if you're just working on ham radio stuff and you want better sound quality than that, you could plug in an external speaker. But I've already got it interfaced via USB, and yeah, I've got a toroid wound on here, by the way, to cut down on some of the digital noise from the computer. Uh, but I've got the ICOM hooked up through USB, so that creates an audio interface on the computer. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if I could just redirect that audio? to my nice amplified speakers. And I've got some nice speakers. Here, check this out. Real short little clip of some music. So yeah, I got a lot of bass response. I got some really nice, they're not quite studio monitors, but I got some nice speakers and an external amplifier hooked up. Uh, so, most modern Linux distributions come with Pulse Audio. And Pulse Audio includes a way to loop back inputs to your output. And in fact, the interface is called the loopback interface. First, we have to install that. So I'm going to open a terminal and uh, we'll zoom in on the screen here. In that terminal, I'm going to type a command. P-A-C-T-L. That's Pulse Audio Control. It's a little program that lets you control some of the features of Pulse Audio. And I'm going to tell it to load the module module dash loopback. Done. Okay, that loaded the module that will loop back audio input to another destination, as you would choose. Um, I'm going to use another program that I've installed called Pulse Audio Volume Control. So we're in Pulse Audio Volume Control, and under the Playback tab, I see this loopback interface that I just loaded and it is going to the built-in audio analog stereo, which is my computer's output. If I go to the recording tab under loopback, you have to choose all streams, by the way, down here. Um, if I go to the loopback, I can choose its input. So loopback built-in to built-in audio analog stereo from, and this is where I choose the USB codec or the uh, USB interface from my radio. This is where you choose your signal link or anything else that you happen to be pulling audio in from. So I've got my input selected to the loopback. I go to playback and I go to the loopback and I unmute it. And there we go. Beautiful clear audio from the radio coming through my big amplified stereo speakers with just wonderful fidelity. At the tone, 18 hours, 16 minutes, Coordinated Universal Time. I can adjust the volume of it here on the playback tab individually. Um, you might have to bump the output of your radio up. I bumped the USB output on the ICOM up to 74% instead of 50, and I got pretty good audio levels coming out of it, as you can hear. 
And this is just really nice. If you're, uh, like I say, into shortwave listening and you want to use your, your high quality, high fidelity speakers you have hooked up to your computer, this is the way you can do it. Now you would have to load that loopback interface every time, but you can make that more permanent with an additional command, which I've pulled off of a website here. This command here, sudo, um, basically this adds this load module, module loopback line to the pulse default.pa configuration file uh, in one command. And then that, that would be loaded every single time you boot the computer, making it permanent. The only downside to that that I can think of is I don't know if these settings in here are persistent or not. You might end up with audio from the radio always coming out of the speakers unless you go in here to pulse audio volume control and mute it every time. Or it might be persistent and, and stay muted when you reboot. So that might be a consideration, might not even be an issue for a lot of people. I really enjoy it. Um, a lot of times what I'll do when I'm shortwave listening is I'll launch FL rig here on the computer and then I can completely control the radio and the audio and everything from right here on the computer screen without having to fiddle with the radio. It, it makes the radio more like a peripheral. So uh, there you go. Just a little tip. Uh, something I thought that you Linux hams out there might find useful. And I uh, hope you do. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.